Hi everyone, welcome to the Allsop and Allsop Market Update. It is May the 6th and we're here to give you an update on any news that's come out in the last 30 days and our opinion on what this news means to the Dubai property market. So I've got five bits of news to talk about and go through uh, what's going on. Uh, so we'll start with the first one that came out recently. It is the Dubai is considering a three year rent freeze on new contracts. So we've been asked many questions about this. What's the point in the rent freeze, uh, specifically when prices have had a downward pressure the last few months or year? Um, so I've analyzed why this, this law has been put in place and my theory behind the law is very simple. What they're trying to do is they're saying, okay, if you rent a property for three years, you cannot increase the property value, the rental value. So that's what they're trying to do. But the question we're being asked is, what's the point when a downward market? So what I think is going to happen is very simple. I think that, that last year, as I said to you on the last video, there's 200,000 people entering Dubai and you only handed over 40,000 houses and that's probably uh, uh, over, uh, over, over cooking what it actually is. Out of them 40,000, you still surplus 160,000 people versus the amount of houses handed over. So what I think that maybe the government are doing is forecasting that maybe they're saying, hey, there's gonna be uh, too many people entering the city versus house handed over. So it's a potential future forecast for what's going on the property market in terms of people versus property. So that's our spin and I think it's a future forecast to make sure there's not a booming rental market. Uh, the next one we have here is uh, EMAR. EMAR, the uh, biggest, if not one of the biggest, I think they will be the biggest. Um, Dubai uh, public public listed company uh, who have to share their revenue every year and every month and every quarter can't hide away from it. So if it's a bad year or a good year, you have to post your figures. Um, so Emar Properties they've recently announced that they have had a record uh, seven percent increase on their turnover. That turnover works out at one point seven four billion dirham. Now uh, that's very interesting. It's good to see lots of good news coming out. So. EMA have accredited this to their strong international presence, international sales and some local sales. They've had some great launches like the Arabian Ranches 3, which has hit the affordability factor. What EMA does very well, and I think it's important for anyone watching this to understand, is they launched the low-rise uh, low apartments, they launched the townhouses that are affordable at 1.3 million, with 20% down and post-payment plans to get the tenants in the market. They also have the super luxury development. So they're covering every aspect of the Dubai property market. So. Uh, these, when, you, when you're looking for a barometer and wanting to understand what the health of the Dubai property market is like, have a look at your big developers, then have a look at your big estate agencies. Now what happens for anyone that wants this information is very simple. These things happen in, re in, real, in real life and then they'll be reported four or five months later. So speaking on the ground to a developer or an estate agent will give you an idea of what's happening. So when EMA are posting 1.74 billion in revenue, it's a great thing for Dubai. Off the back of that, we've got Allsop and Allsop's new. It's not only EMA and other companies that are doing well. We had our record month last month. The most amount of transactions we've ever done in sales, the most amount of transactions ever done in leasing, most of applicants ever registered in sales and the same in leasing. So this is accredited to two things. Obviously we've invested a lot of money into Dubai, into the new offices, into staff, but I think there's a real good feel in the Dubai property market, in the resale. Prices are down and we know that, but I think people are starting to understand maybe it's time to enter the market. So we're seeing a lot more tenants say, hey, do you know what I've rented for the last four or five years? Now it's time to buy. So we're accrediting, yes, our success and also and also our structure of our business, but I think speaking to, to ourselves and then speaking to email, we're saying, hey, people are buying, it's great. Now, obviously I've seen social media and reading uh, some of the biggest news companies in the UAE talk about Dubai. And when everyone sort of puts bad news out there, people are quick to jump on it and say, oh, Dubai, nothing's selling, nothing's moving, nothing's happening, but you're now speaking to Allsop and Allsop, which are the number one, and they're telling you transactions are happening and they're registering a crazy amount of buyers. You're then speaking to EMAR and saying they are selling houses. So there's enough public data out there to say that when someone gives you the opinion that Dubai is not very healthy, I would completely disagree with saying you're starting to see uh, some real simmering, some bubbling and some the market's heating up. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the next six months with that. But when your number one agency in Dubai says it's busy and had their record month, and then EMAR, the biggest um, a developer is also posting their profits at a 7% increase. Something's happening in the Dubai property market. So, one of the things that developers are doing, and which we can talk the next bit of news, is post payment plans. So, this one is uh, Dubai. Buy now, move in, uh, and pay later. So, 
This is quite a smart move from developers. Developers don't want to sell their properties cheap, which is understandable. The developer prices may be here, resale may have dropped a little bit, and it's left the potential developers um, uh, in a bit of a limbo with what they do with their properties. So what they've decided to do is they've decided to attack the tenants, the people that are future buyers in the market. Now, we've had a few people in our company that have actually gone on and bought uh, properties in Jumeirah Golf Estates, which is specifically offering the pay 20% down and move in in, in later and pay your so I move in tomorrow and pay pay later on for the payments. Uh, Blue waters are the same. You pay 20% down. So if you're buying a 1.5 million dirham property, you can pay 300,000 and you receive the keys the next day, and you have a payment plan to achieve uh, and complete over the next three or four years. But most importantly, you are on the property ladder. So if someone does have the 20% of 1.5, 2 million, 3 million, and you want to get on the ladder. This is a fantastic way to do it. So developers are really enabling the potential first-time buyers and tenants in the market. Um, so that's really interesting to see. You've got developers, uh, you know, making sure the market is staying uh, very active and healthy by stimulating. Uh, we have uh, also been all sorts of record months. EMAR projecting their biggest uh, sales transactions internationally and locally of seven percent. Uh, you've got uh, the three-year rent freeze, which we're projecting that. Too many people are moving into the country versus handovers. And the final one we have here is the Dubai property market uh, records a fourth month of sales growth. So there were 10,000 houses uh, that were completed in the last month or so. Uh, and that means people who have purchased properties, effectively it was 6,360 according to reading, which were off plan and 4,436 which were ready. Um, that showed an increase of a gain around 6%. 6% increase in transactions according to reading. So my message for everyone today is everyone's very quick to jump on the bandwagon of Dubai isn't producing and Dubai no transactions are happening but there's actually enough public data out there to say transactions are happening, estate agencies are busy, buyers are busy viewing and more importantly developers are posting their income publicly which you can see. So my message across the board 21 we're talking about the news is Whatever you read in the, in, the, in the market is hearsay unless the statistics with it. You're speaking to someone that has statistics from developers and themselves, and I can tell you that Dubai is in a very healthy position at the moment. How people should be judging Dubai is not on property prices, you judge it on the economy. Have a look at people moving to, people, people moving to Dubai, that's a great thing because it becomes more and more availability in the market. Uh, that's enough from me. Um, there's lots of news we could talk about, which we'll talk about next week. Um, I hope to give you a genuine, true insight into what's happening. The good and the bad, this is not all just positive news. Yes, there's lots of positive news here, uh, but we will share any market news in the market. So that's enough from us. Thank you very much. Goodbye.